Is she exactly? I mean, uh, so yes, she's uh, she's Romani. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if she's from Romania. My, no. My, no, no, she's not from Romania. From Hungary, or I mean, or, is she, she's she's Italy, or, or, Italy for that or Northern part. Italy? Yes, right, that's true. Uh, those are the the the, the, the Romani the, are the, the the, they're called different. the gypsy. They don't like to be called the gypsy. They call they call the Romani. They were traditionally the nomadic tribes of Europe. So they they are a little bit everywhere in Europe, but their culture. Uh, binds them together, and like in the Jewish culture, sometimes there are differences uh, within the culture, but there is a very strong old culture that binds older Romani, as they like to be called. They have been deeply persecuted during uh, Nazism, you know, they were killed, like the Jews, six million, three million of uh, the Romani were killed. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah they really, they, so, um, to me, the attraction to play in, in the film, was, first of all, I'm familiar with his old, uh, I'm not Romani, I'm Roman, from <laughs> Rome, so Italian. So it's confusing the words, uh, but, uh, but I, you know, I'm Catholic in tradition, and, but I, this is an ancient civilization, the Italian, and so is the Romani, and I know the power of women. You know, they are generally shown as submissive with the men being in charge. But in a lot of old tradition, the women are the real power. They let the men talk, but they are the power of the men. So I was familiar with that, and I was delighted to be able to play it. Um, and then always to play a nasty character is so much more fun to play goody goody. But she only plays that for about five minutes. What? The, 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 the behind the scenes. Yeah. The behind the scenes type of power. Because as soon as she as, as soon as you come out on screen, yes. there's no more mistake here. Who's the power? No, but you know, but, 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 but she is also uh, yes, smiling, attentive. Uh, uh, you know, for for a for a boss or a dictator to really function very well, there is all, you also have to create a sim 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 empathy. Yeah. So she has. You know, I looked at Marlon Brando in The Godfather, and uh, he plays it like a very benevolent grandfather who has a little cat who plays with the little girls. And, you know, the last scene where he does. So I thought, oh, the key is so absolutely. If you're just now angry all the time, you antagonize people. Or That's how you get them in. I love I love what I've seen so far. <laughs> so I understand that not every script has been written um, for the show, the season, as it goes. And I, I was wondering, is it exciting to uh, not have that kind of full story behind you and to, approach you? Well, we do. You know, last was here, so we have a few scripts and we have a little bit where it's going, though we may not have the detail of the world. Well now, so. Yeah. When, you know, it's particularly, it, it's a script I wrote as, as a spec script, and so that, to me, uh, you know, you, I mean, I don't think anybody would buy something from me if I didn't have an idea where it was going, but I mean, I think, you know, you have a responsibility to do that, so the script comes with, a you know, most of a second script and a Bible for, theoretically, for, you know, five, six years, um, you know, all, two thirds of which gets thrown out, you know, a as you progress, but, we we had a you know our, our script our scripts were well ahead of, of what we shot and we we had a really pretty solid idea of where we were going so it wasn't a complete mystery I mean what, what the, the advantage to not being done once the cast comes on is you start to write for actual great actors instead How, of just does that affect you as a writer totally. to, uh, like depending on your cast when do you try to write for that kind of personality, or do you still stick to like a vision you have in your head, or is the character it, too strong? The, the, well, the the, the the joy of this kind of collaboration is that the characters evolve once actors make them three-dimensional, and it really it, it can be totally different. I've had experiences where I thought someone was, you know, going left and they went right, and right was a much better choice. But yeah, once I know how the people speak and you know what what sort of like like they seem to respond to and, and I love about what they do, it becomes much, much easier. I mean, you know, once Isabella was Rita, it was just like, oh, 
that's that's why it's so important for me to see. It's, you know. <laughs> uh, but you really, yeah, it, it, it's. I mean, it's what it's one it of the great toys. It is a collaboration. Of... You know, it always is. Even when you have a feature film that is two hours, basically, like two episodes of a series, the the actors, you know, they do influence the script because there is something that you exude that is part of your personality or something. Are you allowed to improvise? No, you're not allowed to improvise. I think it's the casting. I think it's the before, you know, it's the casting that is very yeah. important. Uh, yeah. That you cast uh, according to what you want and then you know that the person can add a dimension. I would imagine, Les, if I talk to you, but that Rita, I imagine that you always wish to be an outsider. So I have an accent. I, my gestuality is different. Uh, and Rita is a foreigner. So maybe there were other names than me. Uh, you know, but a lot of them were American actors, but all of a sudden you see a foreigner and there's something so awkward that, oh, yeah, that fits the character better, you know, and so that's how you build layers. So, Les, um, I was particularly excited when I realized how much you guys were going to go into the Romani culture because um, my great grandmother was actually Romani she, before she immigrated. From where? Um, from Slovenia area. Um, and so I'm curious what drew you to this how what did your research look like into the into the culture well it's 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 an oddly like three-pronged thing my, my dad's Transylvania Hungarian Very cool. so he, and his dad was a musician so the stories I grew up with that I get to say gypsies here because it's from those stories were you know the the, the fiddle player who came to town. It mm -hmm. wasn't like, oh, you know, they hide under the bridge and steal your babies or any of that stuff. So, <laughs> so I had sort of this, this, you know, nice, these nice stories from my dad. When I started to, I didn't know that, that the psychic parlors were mostly Romani families until mm -hmm. I had already started writing. And so I discovered that. And so as I discovered that, and I, you know, the, the script, I worked on the script for, for two and a half years before anybody saw it. So I had a, a lot of time to do research. And, you know, it was really important to me to be fair to that culture, even though I was talking about criminals. Um, and, you know, the, 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 I mean, you would know this better than I would, but the, the fortune-telling aspects of that, of that community are, are, you know, go back as far as India, and they're, they're, you know, it's complicated because it's a business, and you do take advantage of people, and there is clearly an attitude among the fortune-tellers that if you fall for it, it's my money. But at the same time, these are people with you know strong faith and beliefs, and, and um, we had a, a there's a, a Romani family that, that's active in Vancouver and, and a lot of uh, the Markovich family, and, and uh, Peter Markovich was, was our technical advisor on the set. And I, I spoke extensively with a woman named Ann Sutherland who wrote. I don't know if you're familiar with those books. She wrote a lot about you know Romani culture over the years. And, um, you know, is I mean. We we do a lot of it in the first season. We try, you know, and, and also not to say anything bad about another show, but there were some models on reality TV of places I didn't want to go. Yeah, you know, and so like that was like well for my writers' room. I was like, there are some shows you're going to be tempted to watch. Do not watch these shows. <laughs> As a writer, you guys. So sorry, we are getting ten minutes. I'm going to have to grab.